Hello, welcome everybody to another episode of Late Night Chit Chat with Sean. Shh, quiet, everyone's sleeping. But not here, here we are doing some hardcore gaming. It is the hardcore gaming season, it is the time of year that we play all the triple A releases, we play all the DLC, the indies, the big ones, we pre-order, and it's also a time for betas. Now, I've been pretty good this year with betas, I think this year is the most year I've played almost every single beta I was able to get my hands on open and closed. Uh, I have some great people out there that I know, I have some great connections, I have some great subscribers and viewers and fans and really good friends out there in the gaming industry and I was able to get my hands on almost every beta that came out really glad that I can check it out but also let you guys check it out that are our viewers of the of the channel of Mary NJ away and you guys get to check out games months before they come out and I get to play them and know what to expect as I mostly pre-order everything anyway I am having a nice cup of Nature's Promise coffee that we actually recently tried out on the channel on Sean Checks Out, an episode of Sean Checks Out. If you haven't watched that already, go ahead. And uh, yeah, I've been taking a lot of questions for this episode from the subscribers, and um, everybody's been asking me the same question. They do it when I'm on stream. Sean, how do you like the beta? How do you like the Star Wars Battlefront beta. Now, it's not the 12th yet when the beta ends, so there's still time to play the beta. I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be streaming the beta at least every day, every day until the beta ends. So that's cool, right? But what do I think about it overall? I've had enough time with it. Naturally, we don't know what changes are coming in the retail. I'm sure a lot. And who knows what they're going to tweak in this beta, which is the purpose of a beta, right? To make the retail version better. But what do I think of what I played with what I was dealt with and what I've experienced? For that little teaser taste of the few modes they had, the few maps, and uh, what do I think overall? So I have a couple things to say about this beta. First of all, I already pre-ordered it months ago. Um, I actually pre-ordered it for the Xbox One, and I know there's that whole, oh, the Xbox One, oh, it's going to be 720p and it's 900p on PlayStation 4. Well, I ask you this, why is it only 900p on PlayStation 4? You know what I mean? I thought they said it was a 1080p, 60 frames per second game. My point of it is, is all that is babble to me. Half, half of it... Half of it, you know, people are just saying that because they're fixated on numbers. If you were to tell them either way, they wouldn't even know. Half of them. It's just people get fixated. Like, when I was streaming, everybody said, is it 60 frames per second? Is it, you know, 10 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Fahrenheit off to the left of the 98 degree angle? And is it actually 60 frames per second of the quadruple of the pragmatic? Um, you know... Stop, 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 stop. Stop trying to make yourself sound smart. Who gives a shit? When I was growing up, if a game looked good and if it was fun, then that's all you cared about. This game, for what it is, runs perfect. No matter what P, S, R, T, no matter what it runs in, it looks great. It's absolutely gorgeous. For beta, I thought it ran really well. People that played it on the Xbox One are telling me the exact same. And uh, it all comes down to, is the game fun? And overall, yes, it is. Am I happy that I pre-ordered it? Am I going to be stick with my pre-order? Am I going to be buying the retail? Yes. Is the beta perfect? No. There's things that the beta does, and I don't even know if the retail is going to fix this. Because I don't even know if they can at this point. You know, I'm not anywhere to say what the percentage is of... How much, how much time they have to work on things. What is it, like less than a month that it comes out, right? Or a little over a month? November 17th, I believe. 
first of all, here's the pros. Like I said, the game looks gorgeous. The game runs really well. I haven't had any problems online. The servers held up very well. Um, of course, there's not that many people on it compared to when the game officially comes out, but it was an open public beta, so I would imagine that there was quite a few people playing it. The game looked really good. Textures looked great. The sound effects were amazing. I mean, how can you how can you mess up Star Wars sound effects and music? You know, it's that classic, iconic music and sound effects. Absolutely sounded great in my headphones, my headset. Looked great on on screen. Nice and smooth. Um, it was fun. And I thought the gameplay and the controls were were good. It are they basic? Sure, but that's not a bad thing. I don't know why you would have to. Everybody say no. The game is so simplistic. The game is so simple. Well, I don't. I never remember that being a bad thing in a game. All right, you got plenty of games that are sophisticated, or whatever you want to call them. This game does what it does. It's a Star Wars game. Now. The other, the other thing is, is does it feel like a Star Wars game? It does. Does it feel like a Battlefield game? It does. I would be lying if I said it didn't. It's gonna take, it's gonna take that influence. I mean, you know, look who's putting the game out. Look at what engine it's being built on. Of course, it's gonna have that. But it still has enough Star Wars to, to remind me I'm playing a Star Wars game. Oh, it's just a, a Battlefield DLC with a skin. No. You're obviously not paying attention to what the game does. There's enough things that the game does and implements that make it its own thing. Now, with that being said, it's not 100% perfect. The, the gripes that I'm having right now is... People are, are telling me, oh, it looks boring. That may be true if you're watching somebody stream it. Because I went back and watched my playthrough. It's true to, a, to an extent. This is definitely something that you want to play. I don't know how exciting it is watching me go around, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. You could say the same thing for Destiny. You could say the same thing for Call of Duty. You could really say the same thing for a lot of games. It's definitely always going to be better when the player plays it himself. But the thing that I have a problem with is um, the spawning has to be fixed. The, the, the spawn points are broken in my opinion there were so many times where i landed on top of the guy basically and the buddy system or whatever they're calling it the um the group whatever thing that you could play with that's that seems broken right now um it doesn't work as they're saying it works like i said the spawn points are are bugged out i had a lot of experiences with that and the walker assault has some problems. Um, spending a lot of time with it, 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 I had mentioned a point that I said the Imperials seem like they have a, a lead on the Rebels every time. It's actually true. As a matter of fact, I don't think I, out of all the times I played, out of like twenty times, I think like nineteen times the bat, the Rebels won, the uh, Imperials won. It's overpowered. The balance has to be fixed. There's a big balance tweak. That I think that needs to be fixed here. I don't know about the other modes. Um, Drop Zone was okay, but it did have a few of these problems. But more often it was Walker Assault, ass assault that had these problems. From my experience, anyway. Um, so there's definitely a, a balancing issue. You gotta make it where it's 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 even. Even. I mean, if you start the game and you're a rebel, people are now doing it where they're backing out and they're restarting the game, and hopefully they're on the other side. That's not good. You, that's you gotta have you gotta have a balance where people want to play either side. They want to have a an, a, le a, a level feel, a playing level where they're on the same level. As the other team, so when the game starts, you don't know who's going to win. Uh, that needs to be fixed. And it's not people saying, oh, you noob, you just don't know what you're doing. No, a lot of people are having this problem. A lot of people have already addressed this. This is the this is the part of the beta. Uh, I mean, I don't know if, we, if we're able to write them or whatever or do a review on the beta because... The questionnaires that the beta gives you don't even have the questions that you want to ask or you want to answer. Like, for example, name three things why you think this 
beta is this number, 1 to 10? Well, it says the multiplayer is intuitive. The multiplayer is not intuitive. You enjoy the multiplayer. You don't enjoy it. You need to be a little more specific. Because I want to put, yes, I do enjoy the multiplayer. But I think that these things need to be fixed. These balancing issues. These spawn, these spawning issues. Um, you know. And a little bit more variety in Walker Assault. I mean, it's a long mode. The, the matches are usually pretty long. And there's not really a lot to do. And it does become a little bit repetitive. And I feel that it's such a big space that they need to fill it with something else. They need You need to do something else. Especially if you're the Rebels. But overall, other than that, it's a decent game. It's a solid game. It works. It's well done. There's a lot of things it does that's good, um, despite the bad stuff. And I think most of the bad stuff can be fixed. And I'll bring back to my point. Isn't that the whole point of a beta? Uh, it's to put it in the players' hands, players like, like us, that are going to take the time and dissect this stuff and figure this stuff out. You know, am I enjoying it? Of course I am. I wouldn't be playing it if I'm not. You know? Uh, somebody was asking me, who is this for? Is it for, you know, the regular gamer that loves first-person shooters or action? Or or is it just for Star Wars people? I would say it's probably a mix of both. You could play this. You could absolutely love Star Wars and love this game. You could not be crazy about Star Wars and still love this game. Uh... It has a little bit for everyone. You know? Capturing and claiming the pods is cool. Um, I do like the card system. The star cards. I do like that. It is a cool idea. I think you level up way too fast in the beta. I'm, I, I'm hoping they tweak that and slow that down. Because I was rank 5 within like my first session of playing. With like my third or fourth match, I was already maxed level. So that needs to be uh, fixed a little bit. And uh, yeah, more variety, I think. Um, hopefully we're going to see some more maps in the retail. Hopefully some of these other modes are really fun. And here's my other thing. It doesn't have a single player story campaign. Oh yeah, but Sean, in the menu it says single player co-op missions. No, no just like what Titanfall did. It's not a single player mode. They came out specifically and said, and it's a shame because the little hint and tastes that we get of the cutscenes and whatnot, wow! How amazing would this game be if they had an actual single player campaign? Could you imagine the cutscenes and the story and the dialogue? A full-fledged Star Wars like you're actually in the movie. How sick would that be? But they were lazy, and, they, and a lot of developers are doing this now, and they made it a multiplayer only game and you know I think that this game really could benefit from a full-fledged single-player campaign my personal opinion will the game have longevity and will it have a big replay ability replayability I'm hoping I really do I hoping that it they keep the game fresh Free DLC and free modes would be excellent going forward, but I highly doubt it. I'm sure they're going to have added content, and I'm sure it's going to have a price. And Star Wars freaks are going to buy it, and the company knows this. Um, they're dealing with one of the biggest franchises of all time, so I highly doubt the content in the future is going to be free. But we'll see. Uh, but they need to keep it going. Uh, you know, they need to. Uh, they need to keep making players want to come back and not just play Walker Assault and uh, Drop Zone. You know, there's got to be something else to keep the game going, basically. That's all what I have to say about my impressions on this episode of Late Night Chit Chat with Sean. And uh, this will be going live uh, tonight, later tonight, as the whole purpose of this show. And uh, 
I hope you guys enjoy my thoughts. I hope you, you take it into consideration. It's constructive criticism. I'm absolutely loving the game overall. I am looking forward to the retail version. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it with you guys. I just hope they fix some of these uh, issues with the beta. And again, isn't that the point of a beta? It's supposed to be. Take care, everybody, and I will see you on the next episode of Late Night Chit Chat with Sean. <gasps> Shh!